Hurricane Ida, one week later, has left Louisiana in a debilitating state. Some of the residents in this parish were told not to expect power for at least another month. And when you look around, it's clear why. This town, still one week later, is essentially a swamp. 60 miles southwest of New Orleans is Halma, Louisiana. And six miles south of Halma is the Ashland North Mobile Home Park. Hurricane Ida brought Ashland Park residents to their knees, quite literally, as most in the neighborhood spent the hours and days praying and crying once Hurricane Ida released its fury and tore the facade away from everyone's life and livelihood. My name is Kevin Falgo, and uh, my sister, Kyla Wenzel, the last time I heard from her, she, uh, her and the kids was under a mattress and the ceilings and everything was coming down in Crochetville. Never heard nothing, can't get to them. I tried to get to them, but don't know what happened, you know? And where do you live? I live in 101 Santa Monica Drive, where are, North. Where are we? Yeah. And um, who do you got with you? I got my wife, Cindy. Cindy, and you were telling me about some health issues. What's going on? You have some some medicine you have to inject, but it got hot. What, yeah, what's going I, on? I'm a diabetic, and uh, I got to get injections once a week. And I didn't have no way to keep them uh, cool, you know? So it went bad, I guess. <laughs> I don't know whether to do them still or what, you know? Okay, so you're still looking for your sister, and you need to go get some help. So you're going to go over to the Civic Center right now, plug in with them, and we'll see if we can't get the message out, and uh, let's network this, okay? I mean, we, nobody knows nothing in here. I mean, y'all the first ones we see, you know? So y'all the very first ones we see come in here. Besides. The crying and praying hasn't stopped for a moment. As the community discovers their neighbors for the first time with the simple question, how are you? Those folks and they're good folks. Yeah, they're good, real good. And they fed that... us last night. They cooked some shrimp boulettes and uh, French fries. So we didn't have nothing, you know. So everything is needed in Ashland North Mobile Home Park, as everything they knew is now gone. Uh, old lady, give me that. <laughs> oh, very nice. Yeah. Do you know their names? No, I don't. The little pass and they handed it to me. It is stuff like this where we get to know our neighbors, isn't it? Right, you ain't lying about that. I mean. Days following powerful Hurricane Ida, our team was the first people our new friends met. Members of the World Animal Awareness Society and the Laurel Lee Foundation of Austin, Texas, are on a mission of compassion for human and animal alike to assist the community of Ashland. The Bergerons are feeding the community. Hi, Tom. I'm Cliff. Hi, Cliff. Man, I'm so glad y'all come. Hi, in Homer, Louisiana. Uh, Ashland North. And it's, it's, it's like a bomb hit. Nobody's been in yet, have they? There's very few houses that's livable. My but dad's you, blessed that he has what we The camper didn't even get touch. We, we, we're very blessed. <laughs> the top priority, we gotta, oh, we gotta get the, 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 the tarps we're gonna get, on these we're gonna roofs. We're gonna get the tarp on the roof. And, and, and to get this covered up and, and to make sure these kids and everybody got food to eat and water. To we caught a rain shower last night, or the night before last. We got about three inches of rain inside the house in the rain shower. About 3.30 in the morning. So yeah, we need the roof. Well, I'm sure that the dog that we found, they, they, he's inside because yeah. he's just a little yeah. Joe, go get the little dog. He probably belongs to somebody. Go get the little dog. Yeah. Well, we, there's, he's got um, four pit bulls plus him. That were so the you know, they were you know together. who it is. And my son, my little boy knows, he, he knows who, he, who they're for. Yeah. But I mean, they probably not coming back because they ain't got no homes. So let's, we're, when we come back, let's actually visit and talk about that too, because that's, that's because that's the thing, even if they wanted to, they might not be able to because they, they got to figure right. out what they're going to do. Yeah, we're just going to keep him until, until somebody's able to find him. Because he was scared, he was scared, he was trembling up the storm and I couldn't we see that. We have one just like it. I think yeah. that might be that, yeah, that might be their uh, brother. That went to Teresa or Kira or something? Uh, no, Teresa's got her own dog. She, uh -huh. she came over here last night, she said oh. no. How are you? But he's calming down now. Um, he, he was scared. Yeah, he, was scared. <laughs> he was scared last night. I said, I can't let that little thing stay in that yard. I got to take that inside with me. That's right. <laughs>
There's Kenneth and his son and friend taking stock of the damage and helping to fix the neighbor's roof before working on his own home. It's okay, man, but I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna smile again right now, man, but I'm gonna get some more supplies down here and we're gonna try and work on targeting this neighborhood. And I know we I, should I, know be I got back fools that I can walk on, but, and I know it's got a lot of people here that don't have nothing at all, man, but. We're, we're, we're trying to I'm say hello to, to as many. I'm to too, but my, I mean, I, I'm, I'm just as worse as shipping them and shaping them just the way I feel about my home right here, too. Look at that motorbike over there. That ain't no piece of crap, man. That's money. Yeah, Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're trying to get pictures and videos to put out because nobody's focusing on these things yeah, right now. Thing, but oh. stuff, but no, but still He's got a tail wag for you. Hi. Give me your. Give me your. Oh, come on. Oh, he's never scared. Give me your. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. You got food? I'm gonna grab some here. Oh, let's grab some right now. He needs some, let's get him some food. You'll be able to take beautiful pictures with food. Come here. Where are you going? No one's here? So we're kind of concerned about it being really warm in there. So she had been back today. Uh, she was there this morning. Okay, and so she... And they came there this morning and they moved some furniture out there. We're kind of concerned for the dog a little bit. We're concerned for all of you. But yeah. right now, because it's so hot in there, yeah. do you think maybe they left the door open? We could at least check in food and water for the dog? Well, I think they did. You think they did? Yeah. Okay. Let's make, see if there's any windows open for them. There's a water bottle over there. Just, the, all they have is a car. This is his best option. Right now. He just needs air. Yeah, he needs, okay, so there's a, there's a tear in the trailer. Let's there's take some, a look. Watch out for some snakes, Tom. Where, yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like there's some ventilation going Let's not forget the animals that share these hardworking people's homes and yards. All the lovely dogs, cats, kittens, bunnies, and pigs. This is on our priority list. You can, you know, they shut him in there because they don't want him to get out. That's right. And so hopefully. Hopefully. So your take on this is there's probably decent kind of air. Do we? Could you see if the the door was open in the front, like he potentially could well, move? Somebody locked him in that room. Looks like they don't want him to get out. I see. And I mean, we'll just take a mental note of what it looks like right now. Yeah. And when we roll back through here tomorrow or later yeah. on today, yeah. take a look at him, make sure. Yeah. Wayne is assessing his life's work, the four destroyed rental properties, and his small business's viability to continue. How you doing? Horrible, man. Yeah. Yeah, horrible. This is home. Yeah, we lost everything. Um, like I said, we had uh, we had four rental houses and we lost everything. Oh man. This is this is this is horrible, man. Like when you work every day, you know, to provide something for your family. Then we got two sons in the military and we homeless, buddy. So luckily we got my kids to let us stay with them. But as of you right now, water, buddy. Oh huh? uh, yeah, you can set it. Yes, hey, you want a bottle of water? Thank you, guys. Hi, how are you? So I did see the see the water and or the food over there and but those aren't your guys were they theirs here? Uh, nah, it was there when I came when I pulled up. They was underneath the the trailer over there. Yeah. So what we did, I just I was like, man, I know these guys hungry, so I just put them food that I had for our dog, and I, you know. And and that not not their dogs, not your neighbor's dogs, not your dogs, and you're just kind of doing, and you got nothing. Nothing. It's, it's, what you see is what we got, man. We trying to scrape up a little bit. But he fed the dogs. So, it's bad, man. Like I said, man. What can we get you? Do you need, I nah, mean. Nah, nah, we, we, we just gonna. We got, we're gonna be getting some cried, tarps. Do you, enough, man. I, uh, um, I just. Do you need gas for generator or anything? No, we, once we pack what we can pack in this little building right here, me and my wife, we're just gonna go. To what's your name? Wayne. Wayne, what's your last name? Singleton. And you've been here for a while? I've been here since 1998, and this is the first. Katrina and Rita ain't had nothing on this, nothing. Thank you for your support. It truly means everything to this community. Please help us save 100 families.
donate to Adopt Ashland North Mobile Home Park. Um, and if I can get him off and like, I mean, he can even come hang out and keep an eye on him. Yeah. You're watching the World Animal Awareness Society. Your donation to the Adopt Ashland campaign will help get these hardworking neighbors back on their feet. More than 100 families still live in Ashland North as there's nowhere else to go. And for many, this has been their home for more than 20 years. They need to rebuild. This is home. Please help the people and animals of Ashland North Mobile Home Park in Halma, Louisiana by Adopting Ashland. Donations to Adopt Ashland are tax deductible and will be administered by a Halma attorney specializing in community fund formation and distribution.